what is going on guys this is the walkthrough king 12.30 just dropped we got the patch notes for you we got all the game changes the leaks everything we got the lowdown starting out we have a brand new object that is in the game this is called the crash pad this is what it looks like and basically what is this gonna do well i will show you real fast you are now going to survive any fall from any height this is basically a redeploy but it's not a redeploy it's a redeploy an entire team can use. As you see, I'm going up in the chopper right here. And I'm going to jump out. I'm so glad they added this. So we now have a way to survive chopper falls. But you throw it down underneath you. Bam! A huge little target parachute looking thing goes down. You could jump on that. Survive any fall from any height doing that. It's too good. It's too good. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new object that we can use. Moving on to the leaks itself there were no map changes so far but we'll get into that shortly in this video starting out with the cosmetic leaks we got a bunch of new skins that are going to be coming to the game i call this quackling skin here in the bottom left this is the teletubby skin like i don't know what else to call this this is a teletubby skin they're bringing the teletubbies into fortnite this should be out really really soon Moving on to the next part, we have a bunch of new unreleased variants. Some are updated on the skins that are unreleased too, like the Deadpool variant. And we have some existing skins getting some variants too, which is pretty nice. Always good to see them go back and add more to the skins that we already have. Gives you more value. We also have the tiniest image ever, so let me zoom in for you guys. Deadpool's event is going to go down so, so soon, and when Deadpool's event does hit, we will see Deadpool having his own supply drops in the game. This was leaked out and posted. This is what the supply drops will look like when Deadpool is out and his event is going down. Speaking of Deadpool as well, we have his mythic dual pistols. We will be able to get these when Deadpool is out and the event is going down. I'm assuming Deadpool's going to be spawned in on the map and you got to kill him and get the mythic weapons just like all the other bosses. Not sure yet. We should know soon enough. Speaking of the yacht, this is the icon for Deadpool's yacht. Deadpool is taking over the yacht itself. I'm not sure what's going to happen to the Meowsles, but Deadpool's taking over the yacht. He will throw his pants up as a flag on the yacht. So instead of the yacht having its normal flag, it's going to have Deadpool's pants. Kind of neat. As well as on the yacht itself, we're going to have Deadpool's signature tacos. This is going to be somewhere on the ship. Fortunately, we do not have gameplay of it just yet, but we will soon enough. And there's going to be a music pack that we get for free, I'm assuming. But you basically have to land at Deadpool's yacht and you'll get a music pack. I'm assuming this is free because I don't know why they'd make you pay for a pack and then have to earn it. That wouldn't make much sense. But this is the crash pad. We just showed you this in game some gameplay of it this is really really unique i can't wait to use this in a live game we also have another upcoming weapon i don't know if this is for save the world or for br it could be for save the world now that i think about it but this is called the kingsman and this is all i know for it i don't think sheena posted any other information other than this is a weapon that will have multiple varieties of uh of it so you'll see a blue a gold and a purple variant i think he said here is the here's the new emote. There's only one new emote for this update. This is leaked out. Basically bunny hop, except you actually have a basket and eggs this time. Credit to Hypex for that clip. This is the Deadpool yacht itself. It's a very, very low poly version of it, as I can't get the high res version in game, but maybe a leaker will post this soon enough. If one does, I will post that in the link in the description and that is basically the gist of all of the leaks for this update not too many leaks but there was a good amount and we also have the bug fixes themselves i'm not going to read them all off but i'll just leave this up on the screen for just a moment these are all the bug fixes i will have this linked in the description too it's really weird they don't have an official patch note page anymore. It's all just through this Trello page if you want to see the bug fixes. But hopefully some bug fixes got fixed for something that you had an issue with. And then we also have a Save the World patch notes page. I do enjoy playing Save the World. I will cover this just 
very briefly here. I will link this in the description if you want to go and read all of this. Dungeons are back for Save the World. We also have a bunch of Easter themed stuff that is going to be coming to the shop. There's Pirate Llamas that will be returning as well. So if you saved up your tickets for it, definitely recommend copping some of those Pirate Llamas. And we have some improved Founder perks like Nocturno. Every time you hit an enemy, it'll mark the target. And then when you reload, it'll detonate the enemy. That sounds really, really cool. Cannot wait to try this out in game. We also have a bunch of new stuff for creative, mostly bug fixes here, but they did add more doors to the door gallery, I believe, but mostly just bug fixes. I'll have this linked in the description too. And I think that is mostly it for this update. If there's anything that we did miss, I will be posting that in the description as an update as well. If you guys are new here, definitely recommend subscribing. This has been the Walkthrough King. We always got you with the latest in Fortnite, the moment it happens in game. So you guarantee if you subscribed here, you're gonna stay in the know. Let me know what you guys think of this update. If you guys think this update was worth the wait, let me know what you think of the upcoming Deadpool event and this being turned into Deadpool's yacht. We will see you guys at the next one. This has been the Walkthrough King. I'm out. Peace. Peace.